some new compact discs. The newly released discs are a collection of early Beatles music, which up till now have been held up by lawsuits and production problems. 21 Alive's Ron Houston has more. When the Beatles arrived in this country in 1964, hearing their music was enough to send fanatical fans into a frenzy. Most of these early Beatle albums were recorded in the early and middle 1960s. Although the master recordings are considered good, the record copies are considered representative of the less sophisticated technology at that time. <laughs> of the compact disc has brought renewed interest in those old Beatle recordings. The discs went on sale today and sold briskly at area music outlets. 1,200 copies arrived last night here at Wooden Nickel Records in Fort Wayne, and in just the first four hours of business, over 200 copies were sold. There are four discs, each with more songs than you might expect. They are putting each one in a separate package, there's going to be 14 released. All 14 original Beatles albums will come in a package similar to this. And uh, these are the British pressings, which offer 14 tracks instead of the United States versions on Capitol, which had about 10 to 12. So you're getting extra songs um, on here that you did not get on the regular domestic LPs. More Beatle works are due out later this year on discs. The Rubber Soul, Revolver, and Help albums will be released on disc in April. And on June 1st, the Sgt. Pepper disc will be released on the 20th anniversary of that album. Ron Houston, 21 Alive. Something tells me that Beatles music will live forever. After they arrived on the scene and more than 15 years after they broke up, the Beatles are enjoying a resurgence. But this time it's on compact disc. The first shipment of the new disc arrived here yesterday and went on sale today. News 15's Mark Spain went out to see just how hot the new items are selling. More than two decades ago, these four young men from Britain invaded our country's airwaves. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. They were known as the Beatles. 24 years ago, Beatles fans rushed off to music stores to buy their albums. Today, fans are flocking to stores for these, the first four Beatle albums on compact discs. CDs, as they're called, provide the ultimate in sound quality, according to some experts. For dedicated fans, having their favorite group on compact disc means a lot. For them, it means the Beatles will be around for as long as they are. Dave Franke says having the group on CDs means having the best of two worlds. As far as I'm concerned, the Beatles are it as far as rock and roll, and uh, CD is the best way to listen to music now, so naturally you put the two together and you've got the greatest thing on the market right now. Lisa Stein, another Fab Four follower, echoes those feelings. She says conventional LPs somehow miss the groove. All the records I have at home are my dad's, and they're really scratched and worn out, and they don't sound so good, and these are timeless. They, they don't wear out. This is the first time the Beatles have been available on discs, and record store owners say things are going better than expected. We did the Bruce Springsteen box that last fall, and uh, we had our best success ever with that. We had nearly 300 pre-orders for that box. Um, but this one here, we went over 600 for the first time, and we were just phenomenal response. Mark Spain, News 15 Nightbeat. And that's our report for this Thursday evening. Thanks for joining.